I heal when I put my mind to something. Melancholy is this. Melancholy is this this emotional state that it's not it's not necessarily depression. It's almost nostalgia. It's almost a memory of something or of something that was past or a memory of something that you understand will never happen, at least for me. But the, your ability to stay with the thought for such a long time that at least to you it becomes real, if not just in your dreams and in your fantasies. And to a degree, that's enough. And I think that's what separates melancholy from the other states, or at least that's why melancholy is such an attractive form of somber, dark reflection of things, because the, the beauty of melancholy is that if done right and, and properly, you can be happy that that world exists somewhere, if not, if not for yours. You can say, all right, I, I may not be experiencing this beauty, this, this life, this existence, this awe and wonder, this awe-inspiring, but someone is. In, in some reality, somewhere out there, you can, you can understand, you can take a step back and say, all right, it, it's happening for someone. Or it happened in the past, or it might happen in the future. Melancholy is like this hope, you know? It, it's a hope for the hopeless. <laughs> it's, a hope, it's a hope for something that you, that is just hopeless. You can say, never rush, do everything quietly and in a calm mood. Never lose your inner peace, even when your whole world seems to be churning upside down, upside down. When I when I write or when I create, when I, it's writing music or writing poetry or writing a script for a video like this one, it's weird. I smile even with topics like this, as somber and melancholy as this, because I don't know. There's something about beauty that is that's inherently sad, and and I think it has to do with the rarity of certain types of beauty by definition certain types of beauty are only beautiful because they're rare like a field full of white flowers and there's a red one in the middle and you see it and you see hundreds thousands of beautiful white roses and then right in the middle you see one beautiful red rose and that stark contrast is beautiful the rarity of it is beautiful that there is a type of beauty in the mundane and there's this whole philosophy of buddhism and taoism that's like you need to be able to find beauty in everyday things and that's its own thing but we're not talking about that we're talking about we're talking about the beauty that doesn't really exist in our world that much but we can still imagine it we can still appreciate it i don't know, maybe it's the Pisces moon, <laughs> maybe the Aquarius rising gets weird with the thoughts sometimes, blended with that Pisces moon, it just gets kind of wonky, I don't know, but regardless. I don't know, sometimes music stimulates it, thoughts stimulate it, well, what do you guys think? Is there, is, I think, a cathartic, 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 catharticism, how would you say that? You know, I looked up, it said, a persistent of... A feeling of persistent sorrow, reflection, contemplation that can be tinged with a sense of beauty and nostalgia. Melancholy is not the same as depression, anxiety, or something like that. Um, instead, it's a more transient, transient, I like that. It's it's transient, reflective mood that many people experience from time to time. It can be triggered by a variety of factors, personal experiences, memories, pieces of art, music, literature. It's funny, art music literature that's what they do when when people create art they create something that doesn't exist or at least in this melancholy realm they see something or they they want to experience something they want to feel something i know me i had maybe sometime we'll get to it but i had this dying this undying passion to learn how to draw and paint and the reason why is because i have these images in my head of beautiful fantastic worlds that don't exist and i can't find them anywhere else i can't go to any artist because no artist is me no painter is me no painter or artist or ai is going to generate something that's exactly in my head the way i will express it and one of my favorite types of of nostalgia or well is this never being able to experience 
everything that I want to experience. And I, 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 especially in today's modern world, 500 years ago, we didn't know what was out there. 500 years ago, you farmed the land, the, the one acre of land that you lived on. You traveled into town that took you an hour to walk there, once a week maybe or something, twice a week. To leave your county, let alone your state, was unheard of. Going to a different country was like, wow, you went to a different country? Oh yeah, there's these things called elephants. Elephants? What's an elephant? What's this animal that's as big as your house? <laughs> an animal as big as my house? It has teeth, these tusks that are like five feet long. Five feet long? Did you see a tiger? <gasps> But now, now we know everything. We know the infiniteness of existence. And to just sit there and ponder on the beauty of the world that we'll never be able to experience. That's what it, that's why I like that, that description is transient, reflect that transient reflective. It's like you, you, it's so real. You, you could almost touch it, but you know that you can't. It's kind of sad, but kind of beautiful at the same time to know those things exist out there. This video, I heal when I put my mind to something. It's almost like. The way our society is set up now is you can't put your mind to something. Or you can, but your mind is also being pulled in a thousand directions. Thousand directions. Thousand directions. Especially as you get older. And you, you guys out there, a lot of my followers are, are now in their 30s. You know, families, homes, bills, medical. How are you going to move? Do you want more land? Everything costs so much money. It's just sometimes you just wish you could just exist just exist for the sake of existing, smile for the sake of smiling, laugh, be merry without this looming dread <laughs> over all of existence. World War Three and what's going on in the Middle East, what's going on in your own head. Anywho, that melancholy that we get when we do put our minds to something, I don't know, it's just, it can be quite beautiful, can it not? It can be quite beautiful, can it not? Good luck out there, everybody. I don't know. I just felt like sharing something with you guys, and that was it. And that was it. I don't know.